Now, as people here in South Korea struggle to get hold of protective face masks due to the limited supply caused by the coronavirus outbreak, a group of refugees from African countries living here in South Korea are lending a helping hand, making and giving away cotton face masks for people in need. Kim bo Young has this report. A group of refugees from across Africa have gathered together in a small room in Dongducheon City, Gyeonggi-do province. On the table is a sewing machine, some fabric and rubber bands, all of them used to make cotton masks. Members of the Dongducheon refugee community decided to make these cotton masks for South Koreans who are having a hard time getting hold of masks amid the COVID-19 outbreak. They say they wanted to share the burden and show Koreans that they are standing by them, supporting them to combat COVID-19 together as one. Uh, actually, we live in South Korea, and South Koreans have been so good to us, more especially our community, and we decided that it would be good. We, did, you know, we made marks by our hand, and we donate to the South Koreans. At first, they made these out of materials they already had. And when they ran out of materials, they were able to continue with help from non-governmental organization Global Hope. The only sewing machine they have belongs to one of the members of the community, and she finds it very satisfying to make these masks. I see myself in this uh, country making these masks. I'm so happy because it's an opportunity for me to show my talents. I have to say to everyone and to love each other, you will do all you can do to help in this situation. Because These people have divided the labor into three parts to make the work easier. One cuts the fabric, another adds the rubber bands, and the third uses the sewing machine to finish the mask. After all the work is done, they slide the masks into a small plastic bag. Then they put the masks in a box along with the daily supplies such as soap, toothpaste and instant rice that Global Hope has provided. They have already delivered over 100 cotton masks to households in need. And they plan to continue this work until the COVID-19 outbreak dies down. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.